Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now before we get on with the cooking, I want to direct your attention to the community tab on my channel. I posted a couple of artistic updates for you and I would like for you to go and check them out. I recently did an interview with Essentially Pop, which is an online magazine in England and they did a very nice interview with me and they also did a review of my new single Champagne Attitude The Raptitude Mix. The response is very good and I'm very busy promoting the new single as we speak. All right, so on this episode of Food and a Single Guy, I am going to cook something that I've never tried before. I've never cooked it before, I don't know what it tastes like, and I wanted to give it a try. So last New Year's Eve, I said, you know what, instead of doing the regular, you know, things, the regular dishes, let me try something new. So I went to the butchers, I said, now look, I'm gonna need a piece of pork belly with the fat and everything. And he came back with this gigantic slab of meat. I said, that's too much for one person. I need half of it. He said, well, we can't cut it like this. We have to cut it like this. I said, well, that's not gonna look nice when I present the dish to my people. Anyway, so I went home, needless to say, with this gigantic piece of meat. And um, this is what it's, what's um, left of it. As you can see, it is still, too, it's too much food for one person. Okay, so I had two pieces, two and a half pieces, and then I put the rest of it in the freezer because that is too much food, right? I don't care if it was New Year's Eve. I'm not gonna eat all of that food because, um, no pun intended, I'm not a pig, okay? Anyways, you guys, so I watched all the Jamie Oliver videos and the Gordon Ramsay's and all of the other fantastic YouTube cooks who cook this um, pork belly and crackling. I said, you know what? I am going to put my own spin on it. I am going to keep, you know, stick to the basics, but I'm, I'm going to add my own spices and herbs to the meat. And that's what I did. So, I am also going to make a um, onion and apple chutney because that's what I use to um, flavor the meat from the bottom um, up in the roasting pan. And you will see later on in the video that it turned out so beautifully, you guys. And it was very good, I have to say. So, Keeping that in mind, I also wanna, and I hate to preface my videos you know, with this, but I don't eat a lot of meat and I definitely don't eat a lot of pork. But one thing I do wanna say is that if you're going to cook pork, make sure that it is cooked all the way through, okay? That is one thing I need to stress on. I know a lot of people say, oh, but the meat has to be very succulent and very springy. No, not in my book. Pork has to be cooked all the way through, all right? All right, now I'm gonna list all the ingredients that I use for this dish in the information box below the video for your convenience. And without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so you know how we do things up here on Food and the Single Guy. I don't care what anybody says, I am going to wash the meat, which I have allowed to soak in a basin of water with some vinegar. I'm gonna rinse the meat, and then I'm gonna set it to one side to drain completely before preparing it. And there is our slab of meat. I allowed it to air dry, but I'm still gonna pat it dry with some kitchen paper, just like this. And then on the skin side, we're gonna do the same. And now, with a very sharp knife, we are going to score the meat, okay? You're not gonna cut into the meat, you're just gonna make some superficial cuts into the skin, all right? Just like so, see? Okay, so I'm also gonna carve into the meat on this side, just like so. And the reason I do that is because I'm going to season this meat with some dry seasoning and I want the seasoning to penetrate the meat properly. Okay guys, so what I have here is some five spice powder, some crushed black pepper and some garlic powder which I'm going to use to season this side of the meat with. I'm gonna use my hands just like so and it's a mess right now but wait until you see it when it comes out of the oven 
There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this and I'm going to season the other side with some salt. Just like so. And I'm going to use some sea salt that I purchased in Sicily. It's very coarse. Just like so. And it contains some basil, hence the green color. And you want to get it all the way in, just like that. There we go. So next what we're going to do, we're going to take this bad boy to the fridge. We're not going to cover it. We're just going to let it sit there and then we're going to let it marinate overnight. At the bottom of my pan, I am now going to place a couple of largely sliced onion rings. I am also going to add a couple of apple rings and there we go. Now the sweetness of the white onion combined with the sweetness of the apple and the sweetness of the five spice powder is going to generate a delicious tasting piece of meat because the meat is going to be flavored from the bottom up while the crackling on top is going to be grilled and roasted to crackling perfection. All right and next what we're going to add is the meat just like that easy does it okay so next what we're gonna do we're gonna transfer this bad boy to the oven and we're gonna allow this to cook for anywhere between two and a half to three hours depending on your oven because everybody's oven is different now you want to check on it from time to time keep that in mind now guys before we transfer the meat to the oven we're also going to add about 450 milliliters of water to the pan and the reason we add some water is because we don't want the meat to dry out completely all right all right okay you guys so it's been about an hour and a half and this is what our meat looks like get a load of this crackling it's looking beautiful but it's not done yet though it still needs at least an hour of cooking at the very least so let's continue okay you guys so this is what our meat looks like doesn't that look gorgeous oh but it does so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the meat out of the pan I'm gonna set it to one side to rest for about 10 minutes before carving into it and in the meantime I'm gonna prepare the sauce but most importantly can you hear this that is the sound of some good crackling okay guys now do you see all of this caramelized goodness we're gonna use all of this to create our sauce with along with a little bit of the fat not all of it because this is a ton of fat we're not gonna use this but just a little bit to give that sauce that extra zing that it deserves all right all right okay you guys so in my pan I have about two of these spoonfuls of the pork fat to which I am going to add the caramelized onion and apple. Just like that. Now to this I'm going to add some pineapple juice. Just like that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn down the flame and I'm going to allow this to simmer for a good five to seven minutes. Okay, you guys, so while everybody likes to carve their meat on the crackling side, I am going to flip it and cut it on the other side. How am I going to do this? Just like that. Ooh, baby, get a load of this. Now let's start here. Listen, listen to it, listen to it. Yes, baby. Now let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Perfectly succulent, cooked all the way through. Oh, I can't wait. Let me. There we go. That is beautifully cooked, right? Beautiful. I approve. I approve. 
Okay, you guys, and now for the final presentation, we're going to drizzle some of that delicious sauce on top of our pork belly. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, but it does. Now, if you find that your sauce is still a little too tart, you can add a little bit of dark brown sugar. And the thing is, you want to end up with a nice sweet sauce to accompany the saltiness of the pork belly. Now, what do I always tell you? Color makes everything look a little prettier. So we are going to sprinkle some fresh thyme on our delicious pork belly. Ooh, honey. Now, you guys know that I don't like to eat on camera, but honey, I just have to. Look at this goodness. Ooh, honey. Just allow me to share with you this sound. Mmm. -hmm. Now, that is some ASMR for you right there. Mmm. This is so good. And then the saltiness of the pork belly combined with the sweetness of the pineapple, onion, apple chutney. Delicious. You have to give it a try. Mmm. And the meat is cooked to perfection. Baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now look at this meat, you guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's falling apart. It is very succulent. It, 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 it. Just. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, you guys. My delicious pork belly with crackling. And I can tell you that the crackling was cracking. Oh, but it was. <laughs> it was very good, I have to say. But one thing I will do if I cook this another time, I will definitely use a little less salt because in all the videos that I've watched on YouTube, they tell you you need to add a significant amount on top of the, you know, on, on the skin of the pork. And I don't use a lot of salt in my cooking, as you may well know. So to me, it was still a little too salty. All right, so keep that in mind if you're also on a low sodium diet or if you're watching your weight, whatever, keep all of those things in mind. Season it to your liking, but whatever you do, you have to make sure that you get a proper crackling because that is why it's called pork belly and crackling. Okay. Now, you guys, if you decide to try my recipe or any one of the other pork belly and crackling recipes on the on the YT, let me know how you managed. Let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. Okay. And I always interact with people unless you come at me with some bullshit. Because if you post a bullshitty comment, I'm not gonna respond to you. And if you cannot spell my name, if you cannot spell my name, I'm not gonna respond to you. My name is all over the screen. My name is Amaru, that is my real name, A-M-A-R-U, okay? If you cannot spell that and you post a comment, I'm not even gonna respond to you. Because if there's one thing I hate is when people mispronounce my name or misspell my name. My name is pronounced Amaru. You have to put the emphasis on the second A, all right? All right, rant over, I still love you. I will see you on the next video. Happy cooking, happy eating, don't add crazy to the craziness and happy pork belly and crackling eating. See you later. Bye.